Here we have an empty cup. I'm now going to turn up the voltage on these two electrodes. There's no current flowing from the two electrodes. Clearly, air is not a very good conductor. I'm now going to add some pond water. I'm adding about 100 milliliters. I now turn up the voltage across the two electrodes. There's some conductance. You can see a little bit of current, maybe around 20 milliamps at 10 volts. And you can see from the LED that there's actually current flowing through this. So clearly pond water is somewhat of a conductor. I'm now going to add some salt to the pond water, maybe around three or four grams, which corresponds to the concentration of seawater. I want the salt to dissolve, so I'll mix it up. I'm now going to turn up the voltage across the two electrodes. Clearly, there is more current flowing than in the case of just pure pond water. In fact, you can see that the LED is much brighter. Salt water is a very good conductor, and that's because the salt breaks up into ions, and the ions can carry current. So if you're near a source of electricity, you want to have dry skin as opposed to wet skin. And if you're going to have wet skin, you should have fresh water as opposed to salt water.